Hi, today at the Tudor Taylor Studio we are going to be doing some work with Freeze. Freeze is a fabric that we've been finding a lot in our database of um, items of dress and accessories and textiles that we've been listing, uh, all drawn from books of transcribed wills and inventories and household accounts. Um, so things like this, this is a book of Lincoln wills from 1532 to 1534. Um, and we go through these nicely typed up books rather than the originals and we highlight whenever we discover somebody talking about their clothes. So somebody here has left a blue jacket and a black gown. Uh, we list them all in the database and as I say we've got now over um, 55,000 items. What we're learning from our database is there are very strong conventions of the use of certain types of fabric and certain colours for different types of people. One of the fabrics we find used a lot is a fabric called frieze. We've got nearly a thousand items of dress and textiles listed as being of frieze um, and they're mainly used, it, it's mainly used for outer garments like coats and gowns, jackets and cassocks. Today we're going to make a cassock which will be in the new book, The Typical Tudor. So a cassock is a short, loose garment worn by men and women. Uh, ours is going to be modelled by a woman in our photo shoot next week. Um, frieze is a very particular fabric. It's extremely thick and extremely heavy. It's actually the heaviest uh, wool when we look at the, the um, regulations and the statutes. It was supposed to be at least one and a half pounds in weight per uh, yard. So that is a very heavy fabric and actually most of the fabrics we have are stored under our uh, cutting table here in the studio but the frieze is so thick that we have to store it in a, a distant corner in the studio all wrapped up in plastic and bring it out whenever we need to cut it. So today me and Billy who's uh, here on placement from Huddersfield University are going to be cutting out a cassock from the frieze um, and it's going to be worn by one of our models in a photo shoot next week. So frieze we find described in the documents mainly, often they don't mention a colour, but if they do mention a colour it's usually uh, black, grey or white. And the strong impression we get of this fabric is that it was an undyed fabric made from what were called sheep's colours in the 16th century. So sheep come in white, creamy, uh, black and grey and mixtures of all of these colours, some brown hues as well. Uh, the fabric we're going to use today is what would have been described as black uh, but it's actually a natural sheep's colour black so it is in fact a very dark brown. So the nature of the fabric frieze is that it's very thick and very warm and weatherproof. Um, the, the, the name may come possibly from the fact that it was made in the Netherlands in a part of the Netherlands called Friesland uh, but also that at least one of the surfaces, one or both surfaces, would be freezed up or frizzed up um, to make a very raised nap with a fluffy surface that would trap the air and be very insulating. Um, it's not a fabric you can just go and buy anywhere today, so we've had to have our specially made by our lovely um, weavers in Yorkshire. Uh, and you can see that it's it's a very thick fabric as I say it's quite hard work to lay a pattern onto and pin into uh, and you need a good sharp pair of shears to cut into it but it is the most extraordinarily cosy warm fabric so that if you ever have to go anywhere in period clothing that is cold uh, like a castle or out in the middle of a field it is the, absolutely the best thing to wear and um, I'd love to show you what the finished garment uh, looks like, but we're not going to do that just now. Um, we're going to wait until we've done the proper photos with the uh, professional photographer, and to see it, you'll have to look inside the new book, The Typical Tudor. See you soon.